Ever have like one of those days it just kind of gets away from you? That's kind of today. Yeah. This is me playing my favorite game. My favorite old school NES game. Kung Fu does not get a lot better than this at this really cool place called D-Pet, which is in New Braunfels, Texas. And just look at the, look at all the awesome stuff in here. Ah, oh, I got hit by a snake. We got a lot of stuff done today. We went to the store and got all the stuff for our casserole tomorrow. Tomorrow for Super Bowl Sunday, my family, my, my immediate family, we're having a casserole cook-off. And that's what we're gonna eat instead of the traditional chicken wings and finger foods. And we might have that stuff too, I don't know, but um, we're having a casserole cook-off. I am going to cook lobster casserole. I tried it once before. It was freaking amazing, although stupid expensive to make, so I only make it like once a year. It's like literally the only time that I ever buy lobster. But last year I bought all these little lobster tails, like I think four of them, and I cut them all up. This year I decided to go full, full lobster tank and everything. So they're steaming it up for me now, and I feel terrible. The poor little guy was like, I'm going to a new happy place. He's not going to a happy place. Including the lobster, which, which, the, I, I'm now the bad guy. Apparently eating lobsters is evil because my wife and children were like, you mean it was alive and then they killed it? so that you can put it in your casserole. And I'm like, where do you guys think lobster comes from? Like they're not born dead and then they continue to grow and then and then they're harvested dead. I mean, all lobsters, you know, they were alive at some point, which I suppose is maybe why some people are vegetarian. I was once a live and happy lobster with a French accent for some reason, a really, really bad one because I came from terrible French seas, you see, and terrible French lobsters have terrible French accents. And now I am dead, and I am red, and I am ready to, to be put into a casserole. Pity me, friends, pity me, and my poor hot, hot death, and the fact that I am smelling up the person's hand who's holding me now. Poor me, poor me. But you know, a lobster is basically just a giant sea bug. So, you know, if you've ever swatted a fly, I guess you're just as guilty as if you ate a red lobster. I don't know. Anyway, so we did that. Uh, came home, bought a lot of stuff for the candy, uh, a, a bunch of candy for the um, parody that we're about to do. Um, Kira is done singing her part and did a very good job. I was very proud of her. And now Joe is getting ready to sing his. What you doing? You getting ready to record? You getting ready to... I'm am hungry, I, maybe. Am I messing you up? I need to eat. Maybe you do need to eat something. <laughs> <laughs> but right now, they're eating corn dogs. And a little dragon has made nine dozen cookies for this video. And it's terrible because we can't have any. Look at this ridiculousness that we can't have. You can have it. You can have it, and you can have it, and you can have it, but I can't have any of that, and I can't have any of these, and I can't have any of that, I can't have any of that, and that, and that, and that, and that, and all of that stuff, and I can't have any. You know how terrible it is to have fresh, homemade chocolate chip cookies, and let me tell you something, Little Dragon knows how to make chocolate chip cookies. They are freaking delicious. And she also makes out of your mind good snickerdoodles. And she made a bunch of snickerdoodles. And I can't have any. Uh, it makes me sad. <laughs> you can't have it. You already did have some. I had one. You had one. I baked now five you, dozen cookies today, or four dozen cookies today. You said it was I nine dozen. One. Nine dozen, yeah, that's what, no, yes, yes. It was can't four and a half dozen of one, math. four dozen of the other. It After you look at that many cookies, you can't even do math anymore. <laughs> I am a jerk of a father.
Greetings and salutations, now is the time you tune into that nerdy family on YouTube. So follow me and we'll greet James, Shelly, Joe, Oh, Kira, Jade, and Aria, and Saban. Come down the rabbit hole and you won't be late. Come down the rabbit hole and you won't be late.